Okay, well, as the room gets filled in, just wanted to give you guys a warm welcome. Welcome back to our workshop speaker stage for No Place Like Home. I'm Bianca. We also have Annika from the Fresno County Public Library and Farah from Kern County Library with us today. They are going to be presenting to you some library hacks, things you may know or not know. Um, we're going to be posing some questions. So let's welcome them. Say, hey, hi, hello. We have a poll to share with you guys. These ladies want to know one question from you. So we're launching a poll. The question is, how many of you have an active library card with Kern or Fresno County Library? So we'll let that go. Ladies, feel free to talk to the room. Hey everyone. So yeah, we want to start off by um, asking, seeing who has library card or not, um, because that may influence um, some things that we, some information that we share with you. Um, yeah, and definitely. It's okay either way. Yeah, definitely. We want to know if you have one or not. Um, and then maybe, we, yeah, we can influence you at the end to get one if you don't have one after our presentation. Yeah. Or maybe you already know some of these things we're going to tell you, but it's always nice to have a reminder. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So we had one person vote yes. We see more of you in the room. So if you guys can vote, if you don't have one, it's fine. Don't worry about it. We These ladies just want, want to know in the poll. The poll should be on the screen for you guys. And we'll let that go for a, a few more. Someone in the chat said she has a card. Lorraine, she has a card. Nice. All right. So while that's going, um, you can let us know whenever. You know what? I'll close it. I'll close it. It seems like they're more um, responsive in the chat. So we'll end this poll. And you guys should see the results. We have one person. That <laughs> so thank you to that one person. Other than that, um, you guys can uh, let us know in the chat box as well. All right. So let's go ahead and get started. So um, I'm an outreach librarian with Fresno County and Farah's with Kern County. Um, and so we work in two different library systems, uh, but we're part of the same consortia of San Joaquin Valley libraries. So there are some physical materials that our libraries actually share. And if your library doesn't have a book, but we do, you know, you, bar you can borrow it from us. Um, but today we're going to focus on online resources, which you can access from anywhere at any time, as long as you have an internet connection. And our systems do offer a lot of the same things like ebooks and audiobooks. Mm -hmm. um, but sometimes it can be through different platforms. We're going to let you know which ones you can access if you're from Fresno County and which ones are Kern County. So do you want to go ahead and talk about the first one, Farah? Yeah. Um, so the first one is one that we um, both have. Um, and it's it's by Overdrive, but it's called Libby. Um, and you can get your ebooks and audiobooks on there for free. All you need to do is um, sign up with your library cards. Um, sometimes there's wait times like on um, popular items, um, but usually they have multiple copies. So the wait time goes by really fast. Um, you can check out your ebook or audiobook for 21 days. Um, the best part for me is that you can listen to them at a higher or lower speed. Um, so I'll give you guys a little, my little hack is um, when I listen to audiobooks at normal speed, it's like hard for me to concentrate because I want to do like other things at the same time. Um, so what I do is like I speed up the audiobook. So um, it's easy, it makes it easier for me to comprehend and I feel like I have to pay attention. Um, I mean, I can, st I still do other things like throw in the laundry, wash the dishes and have my audiobook in. Um, but I'm focusing more on what they're saying because they're talking faster. So that works for me. Um, and I've recommended it to a few people and they say it works for them too. So um, I really like that aspect of it. Um, when you check out ebooks on your phone or your tablet um, through Libby, you can also increase or decrease the text size. Um, I increase, I do it on my phone and I increase the text size. Um, 
it makes the pages it, it makes the audiobook or the ebook have more pages but it's faster for me to read because the words are a lot bigger um and then uh, there's no fines and fees for ebooks and audiobooks once they um once your time is up with them they return automatically or you can return them early if you like um the best part about it is that um if it does return by itself because the time lapsed, um, when you get it, when you re-request it and get it back, it starts you off right where you left off. So you don't have to figure out like, oh man, where did I leave off? It will take you directly to where you left off and you can start it from right there. Another one um, that we both share is called Cloud Library. And I call this one a hidden gem um, only because when I first started working at the library, I downloaded Cloud Library and I didn't like it at all and I just stopped using it. But they did this amazing update and after the update, it is totally a hidden gem. Um, the wait times are shorter for it. You could check out the items up for 14 days. Um, they're free. They just added audiobooks. Um, there's no fines and fees. It returns automatically. Um, pretty much, I would say, and I think Annika would agree, is that um, people don't really look at Cloud Library for the materials that they're looking for. They're always going to the, uh, like the more popular one, um, Libby and Overdrive. And so I feel like people miss out and um, on this and it's easier to check out items because people aren't really like looking on Cloud Library for, for the book or, or audiobook that they're looking for. Yeah, I agree. I'm often able to find those books that have a really long wait list on Libby. Um, I'll see that, oh, there's a copy on Cloud Library and nobody has that one checked out. So I'm going to get yeah. that one. Yeah. Another nice thing about Libby, um, though, that I thought of is that they also have a new feature now where if a book that you put on hold comes in and you're not quite ready for it yet, oh, yeah. you can have yeah. it delivered later. Like you can um, wait a week or two or however long you want yeah. and not lose your place in line. Yeah, it's really cool. So it sends it to the next person and then it sends it back to you. Yeah. Sometimes I forget and a bunch of books come in at the same time and yeah. I can't read them all at the same time. So another thing that we have is movies and music. Um, so one of my favorites right now is Canopy, which is a movie streaming site. It's basically, it's kind of like Netflix, except it's free through the library. And they have a ton of movies and they're adding new titles all the time. You do have a limit of 10 movies that you can stream per month with the exception of some of their educational content, which is unlimited. Um, and I'm constantly finding things that I want to watch and add to my to watch list. They have a great collection of documentaries and like film festival favorites, but they also have po more popular movies and also a really great collection of world cinema um, that's kind of can be hard to find elsewhere. And this is something where you add your library and then log in with, you create a free account with your email to log in. And then Freegal is our music streaming site. And both of these can also be downloaded as an app. And Freegal has tons of content as well and partnerships with major record labels. So it's not just weird music that you've never heard of. There's actually popular content on there. Um, for Fresno County, we have unlimited streaming actually which is pretty cool um, with no ads. And you can also download songs. Um, there's five downloads per week that you can have and they don't, they don't disappear. <laughs> They're yours to keep, which is pretty amazing. And for that one, you just enter your library card number and pin to log in. And that one's kind of like Spotify in that you can create playlists. Um, I have a picture here of what the can, what canopy looks like when you log in, they have collections of movies, just like Netflix does that you can browse and then free goal, um, has these featured playlists on the main page. And then you can also make your own playlist. So it's kind of like Spotify in that way. 
And both of these are completely free. You just need to access them through the library website. I am so jealous of Fresno County because we at Kern County don't get that. Um, but what we have um, is uh, what we use is called Hoopla. And Which Hoopla, what'd you say? Which we do not have. So you guys yeah. have Hoopla. Yeah, so Hoopla um, is one of my favorites um, that we use, and Hoopla will have um, movie, music, TV episodes. They've got ebooks, audiobooks, graphic novels. Um, what I really like about so you can do three checkouts a month, um, but Hoopla also does bonus borrows, kind of starting during the holiday season. So, like right now, they've already started. And when you um, download stuff from the bonus borrows, it doesn't go against like your three. A checkout you can do the bonus borrows as much as you want um they have like they have like some of the newer movies um music they've got like soundtracks to um soundtracks to like movies so um when my daughter was born um i like aladdin and lion king had just come out and so um she would she really liked some of that music um so i would download that like quite constantly for her. Um, and then they've got TV episodes to different shows. Um, like right now on Hoopla, I'm watching um, The Alienist, which was has been on my like watch list forever. Um, they've got eBooks on there as well, audiobooks. Um, there are no wait times for these. So um, if you were like in a book club or anything like that, uh, you can actually all check out the eBook and the audiobook at the same time. Um, and the graphic novel part is my favorite because it goes frame by frame. Um, so sometimes your people will kind of be turned off by it because they're like, oh, I don't want to like read a graphic novel on my phone because I'll have to like zoom in. Um, with Hoopla, you can actually just click on the frame and it will take you frame by frame to the next frame, which is like really, really nice. Um, and let's see what else about Hoopla. I don't know. It's like my favorite to use because everything's like on there. Um, I'm almost kind of sad that it's only like three checkouts, but during the holidays, um, they start increasing like the checkouts and then um, they go back down to like, uh, you know, three at the beginning of the year. So um, do you want to go to the next slide? I think I have a picture of um, kind of when you sign in. Um, so the, this is kind of like stuff that's been like recommended for me um but they've like i said uh, they've got like pretty much everything i'm like pointing to the screen to kind of show you guys but um they've got everything from like kids books to um you know adult titles um ya all the popular ones like this uh the southern book of um the southern book club's guide to slaying vampires that one's like really popular right now and there's like no wait for it at all um so that's one of the reasons I use my hoopla a lot. Um, but I go, I go through like phases. So sometimes I'll do like a lot on Libby and then like, I'll stop and then I'll use hoopla for like a really long time. And then I'll like stop and go back to Libby. So I have like phases that I go through, but, um, hoopla definitely for my, um, TV episodes, um, music, um, and they have like everything, um, like movie soundtracks, pop, um, rap, like pretty much classical whatever you listen to they've got it on there nice it's like a one-stop shop yeah so another thing I wanted to talk about is continuing education resources that we have and um, a couple ones to highlight are learning express and lynda.com and for Fresno County um, all of these can be found on our main web page on, if you click on online resources and um, there's a subject guide to all of them or, and there's also an A to Z list if you're looking for something in particular. So you can find them under continuing education or jobs and career or online learning, but that's where to get to them. So Learning Express has something for all ages starting like elementary school through college and career preparation. Um, so they have practice problems and tests for various subjects and levels for like elementary school through college in the school center. And then they also have test prep for standardized tests. Like if you're preparing for the ACT or the SAT, they have practice tests for that. If you go to the career preparation center, they have practice exams for 
career exams like civil service exams or if you want to go into cosmetology or nursing or real estate, um, they have practice exams for all of those, which is really handy because um, a lot of times you would have had to track down like the specific book that you needed um, from for like the specific year or whatever for the test that you're preparing for. But this way, it's really easy to access online. You just um, log in through our website and create a free account to get to it. And then lynda.com is another really cool one. This has video tutorials for different subjects. Um, they have a lot of software tutorials. So for something as basic as learning how to use Outlook or Excel, or they also have Photoshop and GarageBand um, videos and they're ranked at different levels. So if you're a beginner, you can check out a beginner level video. If you're more advanced, they have more advanced videos depending on how skilled you, skilled you are in that subject area. Um, for this one, also you just enter your library card number and PIN to access it. They also have what are called learning paths. And I'll show you kind of what it looks like when you log in. So if you want to become a project coordinator or learn about recording musical instruments, um, you select that path and then it has a number of tutorials grouped in one place that would help you on that particular path for that specific goal. And it also saves your progress as you go. So when you create an account, um, you, you actually enter what your interests are so that it can re recommend courses for you, but you can also search for anything you want. Um, it saves a history of everything that you've done. When you get a certificate, you get a certificate of completion when you finish a course. Um, and this is a, I just love these resources because they're really high quality and they're things that are not free. Like we have pay to subscribe to them so that you guys can access them for free through the library. Um, and this one in particular is one that soon will merge with LinkedIn, mm -hmm. um, LinkedIn learning. Cause they recently, one of them bought the other one. I can't remember, but soon they're going to merge uh, and it'll become even better. So there'll be even more resources coming soon. Stay tuned on that. Um, I just to add to yours, um, I have LinkedIn Learning um, and it's amazing. So I can only imagine how better it would be with lynda.com too. Yeah, um, that'll be coming in the new year. Yeah. Um, so we have something similar. It's called Job Now Vet Now. And um, kind of, it has the same concept. Um, they've got like live job coaching, resume building. Um, you can do, um, they have veteran resources on there. Um, they've got like um, the test preps, like she was saying. So if you are um, into nursing, they've got practice exam for like um, the teeth and the end clux. They've got um, real estate license practicing, um, pretty much like anything that you're interested in, um, they've got, um, uh, like a, a test for, or a study prep for. So, um, do you want to go to the next slide? Um, and these are some of the other resources that we have too. So we have them through Gale and there's pretty much stuff on here for like all age groups from elementary to high school, um, different subjects, um, just whatever you need. Um, they've got like, the newspapers, live tutoring, um, you know, kids info. They've got like, you know, if you're in um, the medical field, health and nursing, like study and just pretty much like everything, like the library, it online resources that like, I feel like they just have like whatever you're looking for and people don't like expect them to, I guess. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah, I mean, it would take us days to talk yeah. about all the resources that are yeah. available, but just know that yeah, we have something for everyone. So if there's something yeah. that you're looking for, like, just ask, because they can be kind of hard to get to sometimes, mm -hmm. or sometimes you just don't 
like, how would you know that it's there unless someone tells you? Yeah. So, um, yeah, for, for sure. Um, like if you are interested in learning like a new language, we've, we both have pronunciator, both of our counties have pronunciator and, um, they've got like, you can learn a new language and they, you, once you, all you need is your library card. And once you like set up your account, they've got like lessons and they've got, and every time you sign in, it, 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 um, it takes you right back to where you left off. So if you're learning to look, learning to, you know, if you're looking to learn a new language during the pandemic, we got you. The library has got you. Yeah. Yeah. So speaking of library cards, the only thing that you need to access these things is a library card. And if you don't already have one or you had one a long time ago and maybe it expired, um, you can get one online at for Fresno, it's www.fresnolibrary.org. And I think Bianca is going to put that in the chat. Or you can call any branch or you can call our main phone line, which is 600 READ. And for Kern County, it's the same thing. You just go to kerncountylibrary.org. Um, we have like a really big um, banner that says get a library card. Just click on the banner. Um, and you can get started um, with your e-card because for these e-services, you just need an e-card. But if you wanted to get phys a physical card, you can always um, fill out the application and then stop by a branch and get your physical card. Um, or you can give us a call at 661-868-0701. Um, we also have virtual programs going on right now. So since we can't meet, we can't have group gatherings right now we've moved all of our programs online. So all the book talks, author talks, uh, programs like sketch drawing and poetry writing, and of course, all the kids programs and story times, they've all moved online. So definitely go to our website to check out the calendar for those events under fall activities. And then same thing for us, um, you know, all the Kern County Library programs are virtuals. There's no li library card needed for that. Um, we've got a um, book talk Bakersfield podcast that's available on Spotify and Apple podcasts um, where my coworker um, Jasmine and myself, we talk about um, all the new books that we're reading. Sometimes we have like author discussions on there. Um, we also like, we have this really nice segment called um, judge a book by its cover where we judge books by their cover um, new books that are coming out in the, in the next month. Um, so we've got that going on. We do virtual book club, uh, book cafes, which are our book clubs. Um, we do story times, steam programs, craft programs, poetry writing. Um, we have like virtual D DIYs. Um, and like, we even do like a whole segment on get to know your library. So we talk about all of our resources. Um, and we talk about like different parts of the library, like here, um, in Kern County Library, the one that I work at, Beale, we have a whole like local history room and things like that. So we kind of try to showcase all the different areas of the library. And um, all these programs are available through our Facebook pages. Um, and of course, um, on our, and the links are on our website too at kerncountylibrary.org. So basically we have something for everyone um, right now. My favorites are Libby for eBooks, Canopy for movies. I have to say those are my most used resources at the moment. Yeah, and mine are Libby and Hoopla. Um, you know, I say Cloud Library is a hidden gem, but I often forget about it too. <laughs> <laughs> like, because Libby and Hoopla are like my go-to um, right now for, um, you know, everything. But Cloud Library, I need to get better at using it. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, ladies. That was an amazing presentation. Super informative for people that need these types of resources in these two counties. So thank you so, so much. Um, everyone that's watching in the room, we have their Instagram links to follow them on Instagram to stay in touch with them. We also put in their website links as well. So if you scroll up in the chat, um, you'll be able to click those links and it'll take you out in, into their websites to find all of these amazing resources. Um, so if you guys have any questions, I think there is a question in the chat box. Someone says, where is that link or name of the language program? 
Um, so the program is called Pronunciator. Um, we can get the link for you, but I think it depends what library system you belong to. <laughs> yeah, let me, I can actually pull up a um, link for Fresno people. I don't know if you could. Yeah, um, I can pull up the link for um, Kern County right now. <laughs> We actually have a whole subject guide called languages. So we have we have Mango and Pronunciator. So you can take oh, your Oh nice. Pick, I, but I'll just throw up the link to that. Yeah, I think we had um Duolingo and Pronunciator, but um hmm. Pronunciator I I just end up liking better. Um I don't know, but Duolingo is fun too. Yeah, they're just kind of different formats, so it depends on yeah. What you like better. And they both have apps too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, for Pronunciator, you would just have to download, uh, you had to sign up for an account first, like through a desktop, and then um, you would be able to download the app and get, um, you'd have to download the app and then sign in with the app. But I yeah, just. just Gosh. Make sure that when you're going to these places, you're going through the library website. Yeah. Otherwise, it's going to ask you to pay and you definitely don't have to do that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. Um, because I, I know there was something I was getting on and it was asking me to pay and I was like, no, but I have a library card. It's not yeah. that. Make sure you go through your library website. Um, whichever library system you belong to. And then that's how you can access all the free resources. Like, um, the especially for the the LinkedIn Linda learning stuff because it will try to um like ask you to get like an account for it yeah yeah if you go in through the link from the library website then just mm -hmm. make it's gonna ask you what your library is and in some cases you'll still have to create an account with an email address but you sh you won't have to pay yeah Good information. Amazing. Thank you so, so, so much. You, you both are so knowledgeable on all of this stuff. And it's so helpful for workshops like these to happen or sessions to happen. That way we can spread that to everyone else because noticing in the chat, some people are saying, you know, we didn't, we didn't know all these resources exist for us. So this is great. This is good. So thank you both. Thank you so, so much. I do have a question for both of you though. Okay. Um, when we're talking, since we're talking about library, um, Annika, what, well, this is a question for both of you. Who's your favorite uh, author and what, what type of, you know, category and reading do you <laughs> lean towards? What's your favorite? Oh, oh my God. This is such a hard <laughs> It's such a hard question for a, a book lover to answer. Um, so I think I'll just say what I'm reading right now, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So I really like, so I really like more contemporary stuff, like books that are about real people and places and things that are happening. I mean, it's nice to have fantasy to escape into sometimes, but I just tend to like the contemporary stuff more. So Right now, um, I'm a big fan of Louise Erdrich. Um, and right now she has a newer book out that's called The Night Watchman. So that's what I'm reading right now. It's really good. Um, a lot of her novels revolve around native people. Um, she's, a, she's from Minnesota originally and has strong ties to, um, to that. <laughs> that area and the, the people native to that area. So that's what I'm reading right now. And I'm really enjoying it. Nice. Okay. Clara, what about you? Um, so I am the complete opposite. I am a fantasy, uh, YA fantasy like addict. Um, so I enjoy uh, young adult titles, um, especially like uh, fantasy. Ones. I'll do some contemporary, um, but my guilty pleasure is fantasy. Um, I also uh, like historical fiction books too. Um, but currently I just started an audiobook yesterday. It's called The Companion. It's a YA, it's supposed to be like one of those, I think YA Gothic 
um, scary stuff is coming back. So it's supposed to be kind of along those lines. So I just started it. Um, but it so far, it's pretty good. I am really enjoying it. Awesome. Well, love to ask those random questions. Hope it didn't pop up on you guys. <laughs> I don't know. No. Anyways, yes. Thank you so much for sharing. Thank you for this informative workshop. I appreciate you guys both so much. Um, I know the rest of our events crew does as well. So thank you ladies for taking the time out to um, give us all your knowledge. And again, guys, follow them on Instagram, follow them on Facebook. And we've also dropped um, many links in the chat. So make sure you guys copy and paste or click on those ones to save in your browser. And yeah, this, this was super, it's super great. I know we have some comments and yes, yes. They're saying, thank you so much. <laughs> Her daughter loves the library. Yes. Thank you guys for tuning in. Um, so that concludes this session with these two ladies. Thank you both so much. And you guys have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks Thank so you. much. Thank you guys.